What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pitfalls Lost Expedition. Let's get right into it. Oh, 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 oh. you guys see that junk? <laughs> and last episode, we got a gas mask. And oh, so close. I don't know why I'm purposely avoiding the freaking gropes that are very easily. Help me. Help me. There we go. It's weird how I roll mid air. It looks almost like I'm. I'm like rolling on the ground! Oh. See, it's almost so much fun to try and like just run across this bridge and not use the flying ropes, but something you should probably do. <laughs> uh, oh, I did not think I'd actually reach that. Alright, let's take it slow. Not waste everyone's time here. We're already a minute into this episode. We haven't junk all. We haven't made across this bridge yet. Freaking hooky pants. Look at, no, see. See, I said a few episodes ago, all the normal natives turned to renegade natives. And remember, there used to be a native over here just throwing coconuts. And now it's turned into a renegade native. So, yeah. The, oh, I hate that we start down here and have to make it up the tower. I wish there was like a shortcut you could activate that would make it easier for you to get across. But, nope. That is not the thing. Just go the slow way. Go the slow way, yo no. Oh! I didn't actually. I figured you always have to jump on the alligator to get on that vine. Oops, gotta slide down. Maybe. I might have been able to make it up there <coughs> without sliding down, but didn't want to risk it. Yeah, I so saw you had to jump on the alligator to get up on those vines, but apparently not Lee. But it's actually, now that we have the running ability. Oh! Thought I'd go Sonic fast and escape him, but no. Every time, man. These guys are assholes. Oh, the firebomb tower, so we can actually run this way. And, uh, I don't really know where I'm going. I'm pretty sure we can actually make it to the end of this level. But there's no point yet. Oh, I love this place, though. It's so cool. Oh, it just looks so cool. I'm like, whoa, what the heck? Oh, wow. Looks like there's just a giant fire over there, even though it's towards the Mama Ula tower, so there's not. The camera's all weird here. There. Uh, well, let's see the fire bombs and stuff. What's that over there? Oh, just a clearing. Okay. Look like there's a plane or something over there. You see, just like right, right above my head now. Now I get a closer look at. It. Not really. Yeah. So we will be back to this area much later. Much, much, much later. Actually, that's towards the end of the game. That is the end of the game. Actually, <laughs> going that way. Whoa, not so fast. Sanic, so I think we want to go this way actually. The ladder of miles, yep. The ladder of miles. I guess it's supposed to pretend that we're going to be going much high to the sky. Much high, such sky. I almost feel like we're going this way too early. But maybe not. Hmm. Swim through the water oh. there. This water looks. Penguin Den, what the heck? Alright, let's go up the ladder that apparently goes up for miles. That that did not feel like miles to me, but okay. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to insinuate we went up that for a very long time, but yeah! We are now in the ice cool, and if you take a look, Harry actually has a little jacket on now! Whoa! And these penguins are actually a lot more fierce than you would imagine them to be. Take a look at that little jacket. Yeah, of course, the entire ground is icy. Is this snow icy? Oh, it's not. I was gonna say, if that snow is icy, that makes no sense. Look, there's eggs! I will crush the eggs! <laughs> yeah, you can actually crush the eggs. Awesome. Is that a penguin? I think that's a penguin. Frozen to a block icicle. So yeah, you want to be careful with this, because your first instinct is a double jump, right? But if you double jump and press B, you do a, the ground smash. But if you only jump once, that's when you do the side sweep, which is what you need to do to break those. Oh, well, maybe not. Actually, maybe you can ground smash. Let's try it out. It's gonna end badly, isn't it? Oh, it's not! Huh. Interesting. Well, okay, I was gonna say, I kind of figured that would happen. <laughs> so, yeah. Sweep chicken. Why not? This water is freezing! Yep, that water is indeed freezing. Yeah, it's frozen alligators junk up here. Just telling me that it wasn't always cold up here. Freaking global warming! Global dimming! Whoa! Yeah, so these penguins are actually pretty freaking hard to see in the dark here. What do we have a torch for? Gotta be like, gotta be a like old school Minecraft YouTuber. That, oh, that's cool. They have like little pigs in the. This, so like someone's been through here before. That's really cool, actually. Huh. I mean, I don't know how the heck they would have gotten those up there. 
But it's a really cool like thing instead of just connecting it to the bottom of the uh things there. Ah Jesus too! Actually oh, oh yeah. Hmm. There's a idol right there. However, I don't know for sweep kick. Oh, it's not powerful enough. Okay, so that's probably something we need TNT for. It's dynamite and stuff. Right, break that egg. There's no point in breaking the egg. It's just something I like to do. <laughs> like you think, oh, there's not going to respawn any more penguins because they're all their children are going to be dead. But no, they totally come back. Yeah, there's nothing even in those eggs, man. The White Valley. Prince Valley! Yes, it is he! Valley of Bobwa. White Valley. See, this area has always felt very endgame to me. And I like how the healing springs. It looks like, like they are frozen, but it heats up and it's not frozen anymore or something. This, or actually, it just looks like someone broke through. Some fat person. Alright, the Rising Strike. The very beginning of the game, when, the, when you learn the Rising Strike, they tell you that it deals with airborne enemies. And this is the only instance I can uh, picture that it does that. So, oh no, there we go. So actually, I'm pretty sure we're actually not going to be here for very long. Is this like too rough? Need to cross frozen water. I think it's laying idle that way. To the cavern lake, and then wow, it's cool how many like directions this area goes into. This is like the main hub of the uh, ice world here. It's ice here. Pickaxe is needed. What's this way? To the spindle air. Oh, we don't want to go that way quite yet. One day. One day, one day. Mundane, mundane. Right, so the cavern lake. Is that? Oh, I was going to say that. I think that's Those guys actually drop snowballs on you if you let them hover above you long enough and it, you know, it hurts you and stuff. <laughs> so this is the one place we can't actually go. Well, actually, we can't go into the spindle air, but there's a big frozen lake there that we can't cross, so. The cavern lake. Oh, I remember how this place works now. Hmm. Type lately to, to avoid slipping on glass. <laughs> I read for some reason. Like, what's what's the word for what's the, what, how what's ice? What is ice? I don't know. I'm Canadian. That's something I should probably know. All right. Is this the music? I think it is. I can't really hear it too well. It totally is. This music always creeped me out as a kid. Um. <laughs> In grade four, oh, it's weird to just know that I was playing this game in the fourth grade. Wow, that's crazy to think about. Holy crap, considering I'm 20 now, how old was I in the fourth grade? Like 12? That was like almost half my life ago. Whoa, that's like crazy. That's insane to think about. Not just crazy, it's insane! <laughs> it's so stupid. I think I missed an idol actually. Oh, you know, you need the pickaxes to get to that idol. Never mind. Oh, you see that ice wall over there? Pickaxes to do that. I'm pretty sure that's what we used to get to. Oh, no! Oh, no! I made a horrible mistake. But this music here, um, in the fourth grade, there was a... At some point, you had, like, we had to create stories and read them to the class. And what I initially wanted to do was figure out a way to record the song, probably, like, using, like, a tape recorder or something, write a scary story, and play the story while this scary song played. So... This spot got me stuck for a long time, because you, you get to this, if you look carefully, there's someone behind this ice that looks pretty familiar. Do you recognize him slash her? Hmm. So you might be thinking, oh, you need TNT. Guess I'm going to go back. Ah, wait a minute. There's no way to go back. Yeah. So you have to, you either just think, oh no, the game's broken. I'm stuck here forever. The game developers didn't consider this. Or you look at this suspicious tree, which once this, like, frozen, actually it's not a tree, I guess, it's just, just stalagmites. It always looks like a tree to me for some reason, like a ice tree. You know, so that's another thing, you know, like, you'd think, hey, I need TNT to blow that up, but nope. Just, slingshot's good enough, apparently. Yeah, let's go see who this person is. Is he friend? Is he foe? Harry, great to see you. Oh, no. Have a raft. Excuse me? To thank you, I, I want you to have my high-tech raft. It's been designed using the secret science of Raftronics. It's an inner tube. It's just a prototype. Tell me about Nicole. 
she ever lighten up? Listen, don't be fooled by her shell. She, she misses her father tremendously. After we disappeared, she just, you know, buried herself in books. Can't blame her. The way I see it, McAllister cared more about himself than his daughter. Oh, that's not true. If you have a kid who loves you and needs you, face it, you're a pig if you take risks that end up with her being abandoned. Dr. McAllister was no pig. Hmm, interesting. Leech wasn't getting any better as a pilot, but at least he'd left me that makeshift raft. With it, I figured I could explore the waterfall back near the crash site more thoroughly and see if I could find a way into the caverns. The search for the caverns. You guys remember that place? Probably not. Very easy to forget about. Uh, you've received the raft! Use it to safely cross freezing and electrified waters. Launch, uh, equipped it when saying knee, knee, knee deep in water, and then paddle in the water. <laughs> Native game logs! Raft bowling! So, I don't even know... Did he fall through somewhere, maybe? I was gonna say, I don't know how Leech got in here. Is that a hole? I guess it would have to be, right? Because that's really the only thing that makes sense. Maybe he fell through here when he was flying around. It's cool how they, like, reference him so many times. Um, <clears throat> with the water... Or with the, the... The copter thing. The gyrocopter. It's like you would think, hmm, maybe I'm gonna get one of those. But no, you never do. <laughs> uh, slingshot. Not something I'm going to be using much of. So we only have two more items left to get in this game. That's crazy, dude. So, we're going to want to use this raft. And it's weird. Um, the control stick controls one arm and the C stick controls the other. Best bet for this is to hold both of them until you need to turn. And then just cope for the best. Because honestly, it's really hard to control this. There is something over here. You just kind of got to look where you're going for it and then pray you get there. See, I just... That was dumb luck. Although I'm pretty sure the wall curves. So, like, you do will end up here anyways. Yeah, so there's a secret hidden shaman over here. Don't know how the heck you're supposed to find this guy. Pretty obscure. 12 idols. Should I get the super sling? Yeah, let's get the jungle notes. Let's finish off the note collection. <laughs> I love his victory dance. So, I mean, you can paddle forward. Should just, just try that out, shall we? All right, you can paddle forward. Oh, you totally can. Okay. Sometimes, for some reason, it just feels easier to paddle backwards. For some reason, I don't really know why. So we're actually looking for an exit. Is it this way? Okay, that's where we started there with the, with the tree, the quote-unquote tree. I don't want to go that way. We want to turn around. The entrance is over to this. Oh, you can actually see the tiki's right there through that wall that returned for some reason. Can I see that little that little rock seeing all the water there? I think. Okay, the jungle canyon. So yeah, I guess you're just supposed to swim around here until you find this. It's not that big of an area, so it's not impossible to find, but it sure is pretty freaking hard. <laughs> all right, come on, go into the loading screen. I know you want to. Okay, see, so I was gonna say, did I break the game? <laughs> uh, this is just one of those areas where, like, is the game broken? <laughs> it's weird how you don't move. Um, we can just take it off, can we? No. Do you guys recognize where we are? I would not be too surprised if you didn't. Now, do you guys recognize where we are? Here's one of the wings. Yeah, this is like minute six or seven of the first episode. We're back to the beginning, pretty much. You guys remember coming under this waterfall and seeing the underwater, underground? Damn! The damn! Last time we were here, we couldn't go this way because of the electrified water. But now we can with the rubber inner tube! But that's something for later! A game theory! That, that doesn't make any sense. For next time! <laughs> Let's take a look at our notes. <clears throat> Journal. I have one more entry. Entry 16, January 25th, 1935, 2.38 p.m. After climbing the tallest ladder in the world, <laughs> I made it to the mountains and battled my way past homicidal penguins. <laughs> Little known fact, penguins could actually be found in South America. I mean, yeah, that's where we are. So, that makes sense. Stumble across Leech, who once again had crashed his way into a dark and spoopy cave. I worry, that that, I worry about that boy sometimes. 
talk to him a bit about Nicole and her father, McAllister. I think I tricked him, ticked him off a little bit, but hey, the way I see it, McAllister wasn't a very good father. Look how Nicole turned out. LOL. When you choose to have a kid, you've got responsibilities greater than yourself. And as far as I'm concerned, McAllister didn't live up to those responsibilities. And I should know. After all, I drop it. Not important. So anyway, after helping Leech out, he gave me a raft. He gave me a raft of sorts. Just a glorified inner tube, actually. But it should get the job done. In fact, I might be able to use it back near the plane crash site. And if I'm correct, that should lead me into a cavern filled with ancient ruins. Now that, I've got to check out. How the heck do I know there's ancient ruins in there? All I saw was freaking electric eels and junk. There's no way I could have known about Mr. Pitfall Harry. Any new, oh, there's going to be penguins in here. Yeah, there's only three more enemies to find too. Penguin! Little known fact, penguins can be found in South America. And just my luck, I find a bunch of them. They're usually found protecting their nests, but uh, when they're sliding, their sharp beaks will break all but my most powerful attacks. But if I am, but if I'm quick, I can hit them when they're not sliding, or even better, I could take take out what they're protecting. Oh, I wonder if I break those before killing them. I wonder what they do. Hmm. Uh, it's weird. We saw those flying things, but they're not appear. Oh, we never did go to the spinja layer, did we? Oh well, we'll be going there eventually, anyways. It's freaking idle glore in there. Um, when sliding. Control stick to change direction. What the heck? When sledding, press A to jump. What the heck? Sledding? Just glorify it or two, really, but it does the job of getting me across dangerous waters. Plus, if I use it on nice surfaces, I could slide around like a toboggan, and all the natives will laugh at me. But they're just laughing because they're jealous. They all wish they could have a raft as cool as mine. <laughs> I love the sarcasm. Oh, that's great. Uh, heroic handbook. We haven't learned anything yet, right? Nope. Uh, I guess the only two things... No, we do have one more move to learn, don't we? Actually, what is the last move? I'm not sure. I mean, there's the break dance, which is going to be in here, but I don't... I mean, the super sling, but I don't think it was a whole can book thing, is it? Maybe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. Um, if you want to support me, leaving a like is the best thing to do. It helps me get subscribers and lets me grow my channel out. Oh, look, that horse is right for my face. It looks like I've, I have become that... Uh, what's that... Ghost Rider! Yeah, I've become Ghost Rider, the Flaming Skull guy from DC, Marvel, I'm not even sure. I feel like, I think he is a Marvel character. He seems more like a DC character. Actually, just thinking about the Ghost Rider movie, it seemed more like a DC movie to me than a Marvel movie. Anyways, irrelevant. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye